From Waltham to Worcester, from Pittsfield to Plymouth, for over 60 years, the Ark of Massachusetts has led the charge to help remove the institutional bias in the Medicaid program for families with disabilities. The, the ARC is, is a human rights organization. We work with and for people with disabilities. We help communities in quiet ways too, things like stocking food pantries, uh, being good employees, but also helping out with people that might be isolated, like elders living on their own. Murthy Stark's amazing from the day one I got here, and I, it, I got, it changed my opinion of people with intellectual disabilities, even though I have one myself. Matt's diagnosis is autism spectrum, and in addition to that, he has a very complicated mo medical profile. I think the arts is the place to be because especially if you have autism, any kind of intellectual development disability, they're the people that you want to go to. I think they're the, the best people. It is a transformational kind of a place, and it brought my family to a place of wholeness um, that I didn't think was possible. I'm at Middlesex Community College in Bedford, and my intention is to transfer to University of Lowell. The ARC has helped Matt become a part of the community. And everybody is an individual and not everybody's a group and it's important for people to know that. No one person is the same. People supported by the ARC work at many locations including retail, insurance companies, computer uh, companies, uh, hotels, motels, other commercial sites like that, as well as a whole range of Fortune 500 companies across the country. A Walgreens goal is to um, make sure that uh, more employees with disabilities are able to get meaningful work. Folks come into our stores, uh, we call them externs or trainees, come into our stores with a job coach. And the beauty of our relationship with Ar the ARC is that the ARC provides those job coaches with the trainees. Tom is a person with disabilities who really gives back to the community. He volunteers with us every Tuesday. Tom is dependable, he is reliable, and I can't imagine Tom not being part of the Samaritans community. We're looking forward to working more and more with the ARC. I'm really appreciative of all the things that they do to help people like Tom to achieve and to be successful. Communities and people can get involved in many ways. One is by helping us face that stigma and that barrier, becoming friends with people with disabilities, volunteering in activities, hiring people with disabilities, and of course, you know, we raise our funds throughout the year getting involved in fundraising and advocacy with us as well. In Massachusetts, there's 17 chapters across the country, there's 700. The most special thing about my job is that it allows me the opportunity to advocate for people with disabilities, and it has become a passion of mine. If you want something more than a job or a paycheck, you want a sense of personal satisfaction, the ARC is the place to be. No other job in this world that I know of can you go home and put your head on that pillow every night and know that you made one heck of a difference in someone's life. We at the ARC need you. You're a part of our community, and we need every voice to ensure that we have equal access to human rights. In my own particular instance, since I happen to be a father of a child uh, 47 years old with Down syndrome, when we moved up here from Baltimore, Maryland uh, 35 years ago, uh, the most uh, uh, important element for us moving to this area uh, was the Ark of Massachusetts. The Ark is phenomenal. It's, it's awesome. I want to thank the Ark of Massachusetts for their incredible work. I look forward to continuing to partner with them so that all children have the opportunity to maximize their God-given abilities. Thank you. <laughs>